Hello everybody. Hello lovely people. We thank God for life and we thank him for everything. So welcome to today's video guys. And in today's video with the recipe I am doing fish soup. So I'm using fresh fish but I'm going to sear it a bit before I do the soup. So just a quick one, very small soup, you know, just to while away the time. So I've got here neatly cleaned cloaker. I have my diced onions. It's a medium size. I have my ginger there. In here I have some basil, some parsley and scotch bonnet. Tomato puree, three tablespoons. You can use two or one, it's up to you. Salt. Have my dry spices, I have thyme there, ginger, aromat, some garlic powder, and I have my seasoning cube. And then I have some chopped tomatoes, which I'll be blending in a minute. So the last thing I have here is my olive oil. And before I start, I'm just going to use the dry spices to season my local fish so today is fish soup guys fish soup so i'm just throwing on my dry spices so that's the garlic ginger the thyme and the aromat and i'm going to just add a pinch of salt and i believe you guys are doing well going about your daily activities nicely and i believe you're also enjoying the videos from the kitchen of sandra can cook I am very thankful to everyone who has taken their time to watch the videos and those who have gone ahead to even try some of the recipes on this channel, guys. I truly appreciate you all. So here I'm just getting my dry seasoning onto my fish. Guys, you are not limited to cloaker. You can use any fish that you love any fish at all but if you want to know how it tastes you got to go ahead and try out this recipe guys and on that note if you are new to today's video or to this channel you want to go ahead and hit on the subscribe button so that anytime the scc family comes on guys you'll be the first to know and then see how things are going and then you can like comment and also share so thank you guys so once this is done i'm just going to wash my hands and proceed with the fish soup so starting i drop some olive oil just about two tablespoons of olive oil and then i'm going to sear my fish before i start with the soup you are not frying it we're just here in the fish. So, there we go. I need to see. Just about a minute, a minute on each side. If you're not frying, you just want to say it. So, you want to go ahead and turn the fish. Like I said, you are not frying this fish because it's soup and I do not want complete freshness of the fish in my soup and that is why I'm searing my fish a bit before I start my fish too now I can see I need to spread the olive oil to certain parts of it so yeah go ahead and put this on the side Lift this up, give it a good turn. Yeah. And leave it in for another minute on this side. And whilst this is searing, I'm going to blend my tomato and ginger and fresh parsley and scotch bonnet and some basil together before I start with the cooking of the soup. So my fish is ready, I've sealed it enough. I'm gonna get it out of the pan. 
and then start with my soup so in the same pan I throw in my garlic chopped garlic guys throw it in there and I'll give it a good stir in there little olive oil left in the pan so we give it like a few seconds in the pan whilst it's in there I throw my chopped onions as well I'm just going to drop another tablespoon of olive oil You're going to leave the onion to get a bit translucent or saute a bit and then we can add our tomatoes. So let's give the onions about a minute. Our onions are ready. So I throw in my tomato puree. Allow it to fry a bit, set in the oil. Then, after these are the blended ingredients I mentioned earlier, so this is going to go straight into this. I'm going to wash the bowl and pour it back into it. Even though we are doing soup and not stew, we're going to allow this about five minutes of cooking time. And then we come back and add our seared fish. So we're going to give it a good cover. After five to ten minutes, our soup is doing good. So now we're going to put our seared fish into the soup. You don't want to disturb the soup, guys. So the fish goes in gently. Get everything in there. If the fish breaks, do not worry. After all, you, you're the one who will be eating it, isn't it? So drop it in. Any part at all that comes off, don't worry. Just drop it. There's a little juice here. I'm going to put it in as well. Once that is done, you want to go ahead and add some water to your soup. <clears throat> so, you allow this beautiful people to cook in your fish soup. Now with this, I am going to add my seasoning shrimp cube and I'm doing this before salt because it is also salty it can be quite hard you just keep pressing and keep crushing so crush everything yeah and then wash your hands come back and gently Get the cube into your soup okay so now I'm going to taste it and see if it needs some salt yep have some salt here a tablespoon but I'm using half of it so I don't want any salty soup it's looking beautiful and thick so I'm going to add about one cup of water 
I'm add a cup of water just because it's not ready yet. So if I don't add the water, it is going to finish as a thick soup. And to me, soup is lighter than stew. And I'm doing soup. So I don't want anything thick, guys. A soup must be light. Stew is thick. This is soup. So I leave it now to boil. And I'm going to be serving this with smooth rice balls. I'm going to show you how I do it. It's simply rice. I rinse, blend, and just get it to cook. Form it into balls. So I'm using 400 grams of rice for this recipe. I'm going to show you when I wash it, blend it, and then we start whilst we allow the soup to do its own thing. Now before I do the rice, this will go or goes very well with okra. So I have chopped okra here from the freezer. I drop it in. I drop it in nicely. Oh, guys. This fish soup is just huh, is beyond my imagination. You want to experience that? You try out this recipe. So after this, you don't want to fire up, guys. This needs to just simmer down. So I'm going to put my gas all the way down and then start with the rice. But having said that, you don't forget to cover it halfway. So to do my smooth rice balls, like I said, I have 400 grams of rice here. And I am just going to blend this rice. It's already washed. I'm going to rinse my bowl. So I'm adding... You want to blend it into a thick paste. So that if it gets hard whilst you are preparing it on the fire, you can add some water to soften it. If you're experienced, they're not too thick a paste, just in between. But I'll show you how it goes once it's blended. So here we are. The soup is just doing beautiful. My, blood, my rice is blended. So I'm going to transfer this on a very low heat side of the cooker and get on with the smooth rice balls. Guys, tell me what you see in this soup. Lovely. <laughs> so this is my blended rice i'm dropping my teaspoon of salt into it and guys with this you want to go fast with your stirring because it can be really hard and it can be very quick in getting hard so or getting very thick so you want to be fast with your stirring and make sure you you press down the saucepan or the pot you're using for making the balls. If it gets hard, you add water till you get the kind of thickness or solid state you want from this. So you gradually do this till it gets very thick that requires you to stir. So I've stirred, it's gotten this hard and I now need to give it a good stir so I'm going to add a cup of water to soften it so once you add the water to this smooth rice balls you allow it to boil a bit once it boils you mix it up and start stirring so the water has boiled enough so whilst it's still boiling you want to make sure you get it mixed into the rice to make it soft uh, this particular recipe can be quite um tough so you want to make sure you keep stirring and also if you want to make make it don't underestimate the rice amount of rice you use because a little rice and it becomes a lot this is only 400 grams of rice and as you can see it got very hard they had to add water and once you add the water it also increases in quantity so you want to be very 
careful the quantity of rice you take. Anyway, even if it's too much, you can have some in the fridge and then later do justice to it. I want to make sure it's, it's, um, it's soft so that if you put it in the fridge and want to have it again, you can have it straight away after warming without any toughness in it. So smooth rice balls is ready. So in about 20 to 25 minutes, the rice balls, smooth rice balls are ready. I call it smooth because you have to blend the rice first. There are other ones where you don't blend the rice. I have it on my YouTube, I think, with peanut butter soup. So this one is going to go with the fish soup. And I'm going to show you the soup and how it's doing in the mold. But the rice, smooth rice balls are ready. I'm going to mold them and get ready to consume, guys. So guys, you can see the seared fish soup is ready. So thank you very much for taking your time today. Hope you try this recipe and give me a feedback. Take care, guys. Bye.